Hey there all craft beer lovers. Thank you for joining me for this review. Guys, a little bit of uh, West Coast double IPA action on the channel tonight. Go back to Gothenburg in Sweden to stay by its briggery. One of my favorite breweries taking a look at this fella. Be forewarned. West Coast double IPA coming in at 8.5% ABV. 440 mil can, guys. Uh, there's a spin around on the can. Pretty cool looking artwork, I gotta say. And that's it. That's what we have. So without any further ado, let's pop the top, see what we get. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So what do we have on this pour? Poured pretty aggressively. Got to give it the old shake around to get all the bottom sediments in. Yeah, man. Perfect. Just a perfect pour on that. Two fingers worth of off-white head. Small bubbles on top, centered. Uh, certainly got a lovely hazy look to it. Dark golden color. Looks a little bit like dirty old water there but it looks nice doesn't it guys look at that look at that near the carbonation his and fizz on the nose then oh yeah that's a west coaster yeah lovely west coast style aroma sweet sponge cakey green bitter piney Smells lovely. So with that said, let's dive in. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's a good double IPA. That's a good West Coaster as well. Bitter, piney, floral, mm, earthy, all those lovely components coming through there, guys. Very nice. Again. Mm. Good body, good carbonation. So yeah, I mean, it's a lovely West Coast. It's bitter. It's piney. Long lingering bitterness. Uh, not so much of the sponge cake vibes that I do get from West Coast IP IPAs and double IPAs. But there's certainly a distinct floral note here, which is quite pleasant. The bitterness is really, really lingering there, guys. 8.5%, you don't notice that really. Uh, this could have been like a 6.5% for all I know. Final sip, guys. It's a very nice beer. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, it's a good one, guys. West Coast Double IPA, 0.5%. Be forewarned, they say on the can. From Dugas Briggery, or no, sorry, Stigbeheitz Briggery, uh, out of Gothenburg, the same town anyway, or the city anyway. It's got a, some lovely kind of uh, floral notes, long lingering bitterness. Not so much on the sponge cake there, but it's a lovely West Coast Double IPA, guys. For me, I'm going to give it a straight up. 3.75 out of 5. Thank you for watching.